With summer right around the corner, it's a perfect time to talk about using your pixie cup on a camping or backpacking trip because obviously in those places we don't have access to a restroom at all times. So the pixie cup actually makes it way more easy to be on your period in those situations. I know that normally you're used to using tampons or pads while you're camping and backpacking and that isn't ideal because then you have to think of do I pack this out with me in a plastic bag or do I bury these tampons and potentially plastic applicators which is not good for the environment. So all in all it's just not an ideal scenario to have to be on your period using those supplies and be out in the wilderness. With the pixie cup though again it is so much easier and there's a couple reasons why you will find that it's more of an ideal situation one of the major benefits about pixie cup when you're on a camping or backpacking trip is that you don't have to worry about your supplies running out about packing enough tampons packing enough pads for your trip if you're anything like me i can't plan exactly how many tampons I'm going to use. So it can be super scary when you're in the middle of nowhere and you've run out of supplies. With the Pixie Cup, it's reusable, so you don't have to worry about that. And it's also waste-free, like I mentioned before, so you don't have to worry about, should I pack these used tampons back with me and haul them out? Should I bury them into the earth, which is not great for the environment? And nobody wants to take used supplies back out with them. So it's fantastic because all you do is just dump it out into a hole in the earth bury it up, rinse it, sanitize it, and use it again. It also can hold way more blood than a standard tampon. The Pixie Cup, depending on the size, can hold 20 to 25 milliliters of blood, which gives you way more free time when you're camping, kayaking, hiking, doing whatever you're going to do. You don't have to stress about blowing through tampons. And again, you can wear your cup up to 12 hours, so it just gives you so much more free time to spend doing the things that you love instead of stressing out over your period. Now that we talked about why it's a good idea to use a pixie cup on your outdoor adventures, let's talk about how to do that. The first thing that you wanna keep in mind is it's important to prepare for this scenario. You wanna make sure you have all the supplies that you may need so it can be as comfortable as possible for you. I would advise that you pack, obviously, your pixie cup, a hand sanitizer, a water bottle, some wipes or paper towels, and then a little bar of soap or some pixie cup wash so that you can make sure that you have all the supplies that you need to clean, sanitize, and use your cup throughout the duration of your trip. It's also important to have something like I mentioned, hand sanitizer, to make sure that your hands are completely clean, and water and soap to make sure that you can sanitize them again after you take your pixie cup out. It's important that you dispose of the blood in your pixie cup in the correct way since we are dealing with nature here. If you're using your pixie cup in the wilderness, it's important that you dig a little hole, maybe six to eight inches deep, and then dump your blood into the hole bury it and then disguise the area and make sure that you have your hole at least 200 feet away from a water source so that it doesn't get into the water and contaminate it but again you don't have to pack out all of these supplies with you if you do bring wipes or paper towels it might be smart to pack those out with you but that amount of things you're going to pack would be way less compared to if you're using pads or tampons so again simply dump your cup into the earth bury it disguise it and then move on there might be some situations where your period ends during your camping trip and in that case it's important to clean and sanitize your cup after use so i would advise that if you have the option to boil some water on either a camping stove or over the fire and sanitize your cup and be sure to be careful not to burn yourself or to burn your cup and then once your cup is sanitized simply pack it away and haul it back with you if you don't have the option to boil water on your trip just make sure that you sanitize your cup really well when you get home from your camping trip by either using the pixie cup steamer or boiling it or the pixie cup cup one more thing i want to mention is to make sure that you're preparing for the physical pain that some of us get on our periods so make sure to bring some supplies that make it more comfortable for you whether it be pain relievers or some peppermint essential oil diluted with a carrier oil to ease cramps and bloating. And for me, something that really works for me is taking magnesium supplements. So I would bring those along with me so that I have one for every day that I'm on my period, just to make sure that you can have the best time possible while being on your period and camping.